Oh, it definitely feels like awards season because last week more awards were handed out. Seven young artists were honoured for artistic excellence and 34-year-old street artist Zul Othman is one of them. He received the Young Artist Award from Acting Minister for Culture, Community and Youth, Mr. Lawrence Wong. Uh, his art revolves around street and popular culture and with this award he gets a grant of up to $20,000 for arts projects and studies. So Zul is here to tell us more about what he does best. So Zul, congratulations. Uh, you're also known as Zero. I don't yes. quite see the connection. What's the connection? Um, I think it's just like the number Zero and it's something that I've been you know, using since 1998 at least. I guess the number, you know, there's no one, there's no negative, there's no positive, mm -hmm. so there's really no expectations there. It's Interesting. So it's been a quite a long journey. How did you first become interested in art? Um, I've been always interested in art uh, since I was really young. Uh, I've never really liked to study that much, so <laughs> drawing, uh, doodling, and I guess it led me to, 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 to kind of like carve out a career for myself since I was young, knowing that that's what I wanted to do. Uh, so it's been a blessed journey. Yeah. But, you know, street art and graffiti doesn't always get, uh, get the best rap. Uh, so in what way do you feel street artists are perhaps misunderstood in Singapore? I guess it's also, I don't know, misunderstood. I guess the, the idea of uh, educating the public and the community more about uh, street art and graffiti and what it is, what what's what the presence of it, you know the the art form in the streets. I think Singaporeans are beginning to open up more to 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 the kind of art that I do because um, we we are well travelled bunch, and I think if you go to every city in this world, mm -hmm. you will definitely see some form of public art, graffiti art, or street art, mm -hmm. and it is been like that since 1960s at least. So you've recently started something with uh, with some of your friends, I including Skylo, is that right? So what's that all about? Sklo. Uh, Sklo, sorry, I got it wrong. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a project uh, called Solidarity, Solidarity 21 and we're given a grant by National Arts Council. It's basically a project that uh, researches and documents and creates archives uh, on street and contemporary mm, graffiti practices in Southeast Asia and East Asia. So it's really about, you know, uh, education. Mm -hmm. It's also about, um, you know, understanding the art form better. So you, you'll be receiving a grant with this award, uh, yes. $20,000. How do you intend to use the money? Uh, I'm just going to go party, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess I'll, I'll use it for pretty much uh, uh, my master's degree mm -hmm. and then go for some residencies you know, to learn more stuff. I guess uh, for an artist, especially for me, uh, I guess learning is something that is supposed to be constantly, um, you know, done throughout my artistic practice. So who would you say are, are the other street artists that you look up to? Many. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a lot, uh, especially the local ones, you know, the my collective members. Mm -hmm and SPAS, members of Rascals, that's my collective. Okay. I founded the collective uh, a few years ago. And also to uh, a few artists like Speak Cryptic, ZNC, they're having their works in the Singapore Biennale Singapore now. Singapore Biennale, yes. Yeah, so I guess we are you know, pushing our voices through um, the mainstream contemporary arts practices as well. Okay, so one last question for you. Any advice for uh, you know, aspiring young artists? They obviously look up to you. Do not stop learning. <laughs> Yes, and I guess humility goes a long way as well. So, and never stop learning. Right. Thank you very much, and congratulations Thank again. Thank you. All right, that was Zul Othman, one of the winners of the Young Artist Award.